Casey, this is all my work right here. You can move if you can't see it. Okay. Um, I've been, as you can see, I work a lot with the human figure, and I just feel like that comes from my love of drawing. And um, you know, all through high school, we do drawings. In high school, it's all about pots and flowers and fruits. And um, it wasn't until college that I got to explore the human figure. And um, I think. I can relate a little more to the human figure than objects, and um, I think everyone can kind of agree with that. And they do serve their purpose. You know, I was I was taught to draw different objects and things, but when it comes to the figure, it's so much more relatable and uh, more versatile. Um, I think. Um, sorry, I I don't think I'll ever get bored with it. That's why I think I, I you know I create all these things that I, I think I can keep going <laughs> forever. And um, that's uh, one thing I love about the human figure. It's always the same, but it's, it's always changing. Um, I started working with clay uh, a few years ago here, and I just fell in love with it. I love the, uh, the process. You know, you, you get into the studio, and you really have to like get your hands dirty and be ready to just you know, do your thing. And you have to get into the zone. and. Oftentimes I'll go into the studio with no real timeline schedule and I'll come out like nine hours later and wonder where the sun went. <laughs> and um, yeah, this piece is called Complete. Um, I worked from the feet up and this is actually my second clay figure piece. And um, the first one I was working on, Mark came in the studio and was like, why don't you really get texture in there? So. I think with this one, I went all out with the with the texture, and I really wanted to show that it's it's clay. So you know, why not make it look like clay? And and I I want people to be able to look around it and like really really get into it and see how I made it. It just it's hollow. Clay has to be hollow or it'll blow up. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, and I, I left her back open so that people can really see um, you know how I got into the, into it and. Imagine you know me working in the studio for hours and hours, <laughs> um, and the two, my two, the two media my work, media I work with, they kind of inspire each other. I would make clay pieces, clay pieces, and then think, oh, I can do that with the wire, and and vice versa. And um, I started working with wire last semester in one of my classes, and. Um, I hated it at first. It's, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think so, but yeah, it's wire is it doesn't do what you want it to do. You really have to just kind of go with it, and I, I guess I learned how to do that. And um, these pieces, they're all figure, um, and I, there was no real, t um, real, um, I guess motion intended, you know, but I like to see when I come in here, people will come up and say, you know, oh, this is, it's like a storyboard. They think it's like a storyline. I like that. I like that people are, you know, just inspired by it. And um, uh, these pieces are the white, the white wire, and I decided to play with some spray paint, and, um, you know, I thought they would, the white would get lost on the wall, but, um, uh, lost, and this one is called Free, inspired by my roommates, actually. Um, in our dorm last year, we decided to take a study break and um, swing around this banister that we had in our apartment. So, um, you know, life kind of inspires me and my friends inspire me. 